While it was once a uniquely religious word, forgiveness now is changing. And there is no consensus about what it is and what it is becoming. Amish schoolhouses are thought to be the most safe haven. Five young girls are dead. The Amish are not calling for revenge. Instead, they're preaching something much different, forgiveness. Are you trying to tell me that God loves uh, Charles Roberts, the murderer in this case, as much as he loves the girl that he fired 20 bullets into? Forgiveness, reconciliation, and apology, all close relatives, have always played an essential role in the lives of individuals. I have never, ever seen the real perpetrators publicly apologize and asking for forgiveness. Our objective is to find out the truth in order to assist in the process of healing our land. We heard the words of people who themselves were tortured and accounts of the people who did the killing and the torture. Why I'm here is to seek forgiveness. Catherine Ann Power, a fierce opponent of the Vietnam War, participated in a violent act of protest in which a policeman was killed. I tore something that will never be untorn. I wanted forgiveness. What she did is not something that I have the authority or the power to excuse or forgive. I'm not the dead person. My father is the dead person. Forgiveness can penetrate the darkest souls if only for a moment. Gary Ridgway admitted killing 90 women over a period of 20 years. There are people here that hate you. I'm not one of them. I forgive you for what you've done. The crime that was perpetrated against me and my roommate is an act of radical evil. We were two girls on bicycles, no skin of metal around us, open and vulnerable to the elements and to anybody who might pass by. Not long after I had been asleep, I heard a blow, and my roommate was completely quiet. And I saw above me a young man standing over me. He had an ax in his hand. He brought the ax down, and oddly enough, he brought it down slowly, in slow motion. Terry told me one day that she was thinking of going back to Oregon and trying to find the man who had attacked her. And what I immediately found out was that the statute of limitations on this case had expired in 1980. This first little piece of that anger that I needed to recover started to come up. Wait a minute, there wasn't any justice here? That there, there was still a man out there who was, who was, who was, you know, had not been held accountable? There had been no reckoning for this? Wait a minute, it can't be ever? Could I ever, under any circumstances, forgive this man? In this case, I would say no. A single lifetime, the years he has left on the planet, would not be enough. When my ex-wife told me that she was moving a thousand miles away, I said, you can't take the kids with you. And she said, I know, I'm not gonna take the kids. The world does not, in general, look really kindly upon women who leave their children. For a while, it was just like, really just a broken heart, it was like, I wasn't enough to make her stay. I would say to her, will you allow yourself to trust me again and to, to let me in and, and know that I won't, I won't abandon you again. I won't. <laughs> 